This has got the fix-it guide. Today we're dealing with a dishwasher that's stuck in the cabinet. It's kind of hard to get out. First to get the dishwasher out, we're going to remove these two Phillips head screws. This, by the way, is a Bosch dishwasher, but most dishwashers are connected by a couple of Phillips head screws here at the top. Holds it into the cabinet. Sometimes there's screws that are going into the side also you want to check. This one just had ones on the top. And once you get those out, sometimes you get lucky and you can grab the dishwasher down low and kind of wiggle it out. But this one was really in tight, um, probably tighter than any other one I've seen before. So what I'm going to do now is remove the bottom kick panel so that I can see about how the little legs underneath are positioned. Sometimes they're just... Uh, push down too far, which push makes the dishwasher in the cabinet too tight. So maybe I can lower those legs a little bit. So I'm removing the first kick panel, and then on this Bosch model, there's another portion of the kick panel underneath. You have to remove a couple of Phillips head screws, and you can pull that out. And then that gives you access to uh, where the feet are adjusted. And what I want to do is just bring those feet up into the dishwasher as far as possible so that the dishwasher is not pushed up hard into the top of the cabinet, but that there's a little bit of room. I'm using a standard head screwdriver now to get in between the sides, there's kind of a gasket there, and I want to break the friction that it has with the cabinet. This cabinet's really unusual, it's actually made of metal, which is pretty rare, usually it's wood, but it's a very tight fit. So I'm just using a little bit of leverage to try to break free the friction that it has. Just trying different things to get this dishwasher out. Sometimes you have to remove a dishwasher from the cabinet to replace it or to do a repair. Now I'm putting my standard head screwdriver into the slots of the feet and I'm turning it to my right which pushes the feet, screws the feet up into the dishwasher and that lowers the top. If I can get the top lowered, I'll have a little gap. I might be able to get the dishwasher out. And then on the Bosch dishwasher, if I press my standard head screwdriver into this little screw and turn, it will drop the feet in the back to help me to get the dishwasher out. So now I'm turning the foot on the left side and pushing it toward my right and that's gonna lower it and give me a little bit more room. I think when they put in the new tile on this floor it just made the tolerance really really tight. <clears throat> One thing I did in this case is I put my standard head screwdriver down between the tile and the floor. Uh, I'm sorry between the floor on the tile and the foot to act as like a, uh, a little wedge and that helped me to get the foot to climb up onto the tile to help me get it out. It just took a, probably a half an hour of work here to get this thing out. Another trick is to grab the latch with your uh, pliers and then pull towards you at the top and then that can give you <clears throat> a little bit of movement and that can help to, to break it loose. So now I've got it pulled out a little bit at the top, slight angle at the top, and now I'm gonna to try to pull out the bottom. Just take your time, wiggle out a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right, just keep at it, and eventually it'll, it'll come out. And then I'm gonna use my standard head screwdriver like a shoehorn or like a wedge between the, that foot and the tile to get that thing to move. And I did finally get this thing out, but again, it took, took a long time, a lot of trial and error. We you gotta make sure it's not connected, you know, it's, it's out of the cabinet, and then just keep at it and you'll finally get it out. So I hope this helps, and please subscribe when you get a chance.